people today we're going to try to model a jellyfish and you can see on my screen here i have this image so let's see if we can just save this image as oh we can save that image um let's see if we can save something else i'm kind of looking for something particularly not too hard i kind of like this one to be honest um but we'll, we'll probably put like some tweaks around it let's see if we can save the image um yeah let's go to pictures and let's just save the picture as a jellyfish image yeah so what i realized with a lot of trial and error was that the shape that we had previously was a bit too complex so we want to just do something very regular not too many curves so we can increase this a little bit and move this to the center i want to really see where that takes us want to really see I'm going to duplicate this as well and rotate this a little bit I'm just going to rotate this a little bit like this and now we're going to loft again and see what that does for us and yeah we do have a much more organic surface like this the other one we have was a bit too 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 complex so i think this this is an okay shape to begin with um and i am really like I'm going to just stretch this out just a bit because we want that high to just be more much more realistic and yeah we are liking this let's see if we can move this onto this layer this is looking quite organic and free flowing the next thing we want to work on are the the curves for the legs And we might just start, we we'll just lock this layer quickly so that we don't tamper with anything that we've already done. And from here, you can see how organic these shapes are. And we really might just loft or sweep um, these edges. We would create a profile that goes this way and then just sweep some circles around it. I think that might be the easiest way to do this um, and we're just going to draw our I'm going to start from the middle because we want it to be a bit organic so I'm not going to draw too many curve points because I want it to be simple and we start from the smallest down all the way here so we are going to draw circles around this edge so you want to look for a circle that is around a curve the center of the circle can be at any point we want to look for somewhere here so we're going to do this just a little bit we're going to reactivate that create one that's a little bit high do that create one that's a little bit more than that and that should be it now we're going to try and sweep the rail we're going to go to a new layer and call this legs 
and try to sweep this so go to surface i'm going to go sweep one rail this is our rail wing it's not going to form a whole thing let's see it's very nice but as you can see it only formed half of it and that's probably because I didn't put one at the ends so we're going to just draw another circle around this and draw this around yeah and then one more select the curve and just do this a little bit so we're going to sweep one wheel and then for sweep the shapes and I'm just gonna go one two three four five and let's see how that comes out so it's better now because it's got like loads of stuff to follow and we are just gonna cap all the holes because we want it to become a solid well it wouldn't really be a solid more like a pulley surface and that's that's quite okay as well now we're going to show you i'm going to show you the power of the array tool here in the center so we're going to go to our center our polar array tool um and choose zero as our center of origin we want six legs and 360 is going to be our point of reference and then enter and then we have six legs <laughs> now we're going to move each one just as freely as possible because there's nothing to um it has to be dynamic anyway um but we do want to rotate some of them a bit and we gonna use this to move it use that to move this move this a bit bring it forward move that a bit and we just want to leave about two in the original position Yeah, we want to hide all the curves. Yeah, make sure that all the curves are on the same level. Also, move this as well. See how we can deform the object a bit it's a bit too straight and serious but before we do that we're going to duplicate this that's some knockout curves of course i'm just going to copy this to the side so we have like our original objects i'm going to put back also back on so everything is in a straight line
this one can we can it so that we have that and then we're going to just tilt everything to the side so it's a bit more mm -hmm. 